This review is brought to you in part by Riders Hobby Shops, where the fun begins. Stop in to one of Riders' two convenient Michigan locations, where you'll find a full range of the latest hobby products, supplies, parts, tools, and paint. You'll find aisles and aisles of scale model kits, RC models, model rockets, Warhammer gaming, and railroading products. Stop in at Riders today and tell them Doug sent you. Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the re-release of the venerable Tom Daniel Beer Wagon. It's been out of production for quite some time, and this is now kit 85-2453 in the current catalog. It's basically the same monogram kit released in 1967, but it has a small but much improved water slide decal sheet, and a typical book format instruction sheet from Ravel. It's a simplistic kit that's more for show than realism, but it looks great on your shelf when you're done. Overall dimensions are length six and a quarter inches, width three and a quarter inches, and height three inches. Please follow the manufacturer's safety suggestions for all the products that you see here, and throughout the review you may find some optional ideas that are suggested, but those would be truly up to you. Now this is the box art, of course, as you saw, for the kit released in the 2016 version. And for the most part, I use Model Master liquid cement. Other adhesives could include super glue for strength and white glue for clear parts. Most of the paints are Tamiya acrylic bottle paints. For the most part, I thin down those Tamiya acrylic paints from the bottles and spray them in an airbrush. You may also find that uh, it's useful to use some rattle can paints for things like primer, etc. Either way you do it, when you get to the end of this build though, you're going to find a really great looking model with a great stance and an iconic Mack <laughs> truck cab and a beer wagon full of beer barrels in the back. Who could ask for anything more? Be sure to display it proudly and make sure that your friends take a good look because they'll want one too. As I mentioned, the small decal sheet is very good and the color registry is excellent. But you may want to use some of the setting solutions to help the decals contour to the body's features and stick well. I first sprayed all the parts with a good coat of quality primer that's compatible with my finished color paint. Gather the parts from the box to construct the cab. Glue the floorboard to the cab and then paint the subassembly body color. Then use a brush to paint the floorboard area flat black along with the steering column. Now the, the, the wheel is black and install the column and the steering wheel with the shifter and the mugs. Then detail paint the cab and add the decals for the dash. Gather the rest of the parts to build the cab and paint those body color uh, for the top, the back of the top and the side panels. The seats are black, as are the headrests, and the barrel is brown with a black ring. Now assemble the back and the top and add those to the cab. Then add the barrel and the tap to the seats and install the seats. Add the headrests to the back wall and install the sides of the cab. Now gather these parts and paint the chassis body color with flat black in the engine space on the underside. Then paint the motor and the transmission and axle steel and red. Now install the front suspension into place using some super glue here and make sure to scrape off the chrome so that the glue uh, adheres. Then paint the motor red and add the exhaust tips and paint the exhaust steel. Now install the motor to the top side of the chassis. Pull out the parts for the rear suspension and paint the change either a copper or a brass color. Again, scrape the chrome away from the contact points and use some super glue to install the rear suspension like this. Also install the tag mount uh, for the license plate bracket to the frame at this time. Now select the parts for the tires and the wheels and note that the deeper dished uh, wheels go to the rear drag slicks. Now assemble the front tires and the drag slicks by installing a rim into the fronts and a rim into the back. Uh, and a backing plate on the rear of each. Then slide the rims onto the axles with a little glue there on the front and the rear. At this point in the construction you'll have a completed rolling chassis. 
Glue the cab subassembly to the chassis at this time and install the intake stacks onto the motor through the opening. Now gather the parts for the uh, bed um, uh, for the truck and the rails. And there's a number of ways to approach this. You can just paint it with wood tones. Uh, in this case, I used a wood pattern that I found on the internet and I just printed it off using some decal paper and a color printer and it gave me kind of a realistic looking bed and sides. Now paint the chains chrome and the bars body color and I painted the signs white. Uh, install the sides and the rear panels onto the bed. Gather the parts shown here and then assemble the fuel tanks and glue them to the bed. Then the tail lights are assembled and the lenses are painted transparent red and installed onto the frame horns. Using plenty of water and some of that decal setting solution we talked about, add the decals to the signs and to the front grill area at this time. With the front completed, I printed out a copy of my logo as a license tag and added that to the frame tag in the back. Now you see the completed rear end as well. Finally, assemble the beer barrels and after you've cleaned them up, paint the barrels brown with black bands and a tan color stopper or cork for the barrel. For a realistic looking beer wagon, you can add those barrels to the bed or just place them around the back as if they're being loaded or unloaded for your display on the shelf. This kit's been around quite a while and it's seen a lot of repops, but it's still a great kit to build. Uh, it isn't, you know, exact for replica uh, detailing, but it is a fun kit to build on a, a nice subject. And we love uh, the fact that Ravel is bringing these back for us because there's no uh, way to get them for less than a <laughs> three figures on the internet. Um, the fit and finish isn't too bad, but remember, um, you'll have to do a little work to get this uh, all put together. But overall, it's still a good kit and goes together pretty easily. We hope you've liked this step-by-step -step how to build it review. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. But you can find us on Facebook and our website at www.rightonreplicas.com.